Oh, where's Gore? Where's uh, Gerald? Gosh. Okay. I do know the name of my goat. I keep confusing him though with my dog Stuffy. So there's Gordon the gecko and this is Gerald the goat. So Gerald says it's seven o'clock. <laughs> I don't even know his name. So uh, it is seven o'clock. Check it out Tuesday. Tamara's paper trail. I am Tamara. Who are you? I am just scoring paper while, uh, while I wait for a few of you to jump on and give me a hidey ho. There's Melanie and Shayla. Hello, hello. I was going to jump on three minutes ago, and then y'all could watch me score paper. But I thought, well, that's kind of boring. <laughs> there's Jen. There's Teresa. Janet. Hey, hey. I'm prepping. I'm prepping for my calendar, my desk calendar class. Uh, I kind of forgot that I hadn't done the card bases yet. So I've got everything else prepped. Today my order arrived with all of the... Um, the designer paper and the bees. You will recall from yesterday that this is what we're making. And uh, when are we making that? We're making that March 11th. Let's flip that over there. This is what we're making March 11th. So I've cut all the paper and oh, I still have to make most of these. It's a labor of love. Uh, but I got to score the card bases and I got to get them out in the mail to Alin and to Virginia. So I've actually, I've taken my trimmer off because I know me and I would start cutting these by accident. So, hey, Chris Stone's from Australia. Hi, Marcella. There's Debbie. How are you feeling, Deb? Feeling any better today? I sure hope so. Don't like when my girls are not well. There's Wendy. Hello, Wendy. Um, so in usual Tamara style, I came down. I had most of the afternoon uh, to play down here. I did most of my paperwork this morning and I thought, okay, I am going to go down. Well, over lunch, I sat and I did my, what I call R&D, research and development via Pinterest, which means, hi, Nancy, hi, Cheryl, which means I sit there over my lunch and I pour over fabulous projects and I decide what I might want to show you. And nothing was, nothing was jumping out at me. I have another board of, you know, over the top projects or class ideas and, you know, I have all these great um, dreams that on Tuesdays I'll come and I'll show you, you know, three different cards using one stamp set and then I don't. So <laughs> I came down about 1230. I had all afternoon to play. You want to know what I did? <laughs> you want to know what I did? Instead of doing what I should have done for tonight, I made treats that I don't need for like five weeks for now. <laughs> In five weeks, I need a little gift to go into my club girls bags. Um, five weeks from now, you guys, I have things that are due Friday, this Friday, but no, this is what I chose to work on today. <laughs> but you know, that's how I roll. This is what I wanted to do today. And I'm, I'm learning this lesson going, you know, if I would have sat down here and I would have tried to make a card when my heart wanted to make these, I'd be no further ahead. I wouldn't have these made and I'd have a bunch of projects that I didn't love and I'd be frustrated and so on and so forth. So instead I made like 15 of these little boxes. So tonight's going to be a mishmash of things. I got my order came in with magnet boards um, and I'm doing a class on that um, in a couple of weeks. I don't know when, but I thought, okay, I'm going to start, I'm going to show you how to make these. Like we're just going to have a little bit of everything, a little bit of the dog's breakfast, as they say. Um, okay. I'll stop scoring cards now that you don't have to watch me do this for any longer. So they are cute, right? Teresa, they're super cute. Yeah, it all works out. I know. Deb says she's a bit better today, but still have some weird symptoms. Ew. Oh, that's not okay, Debbie. Bonjour, Lucy. Bonjour. Okay. Oh, so who was I talking to the other day? And I said, you know, who was it on Friday? I had my, uh, I had my team event Friday night and Dale, our DDM um, for Stampin' Up! Canada was popping in and it was like 5.30 and I wasn't ready, you know, my desk. I mean, I was sort of ready in that I knew I'd pull my reports, but you know, I hadn't cleaned my desk or anything. It was like 5.30, I'm eating dinner. So what do I decide to do instead of coming down and getting ready for my meeting that's an hour later? I decided to brush up on German. Yes, yes. Did I tell you this story already? I don't know, I told it to somebody. <laughs> so I got into that... Um, Duolingo app and oh my god you guys I'm like addicted I I love it I've I've learned a bit of German in university I took level one um 
university german and i lived in germany and uh yeah so i've got yeah i have a basis in german in german but um i don't know i'm loving this app so every day i spend 10 15 maybe 20 minutes um over my lunch or over my dinner brushing up on my german and so that's the way i roll right like i have really pressing things to do i know let's learn a new language <laughs> oh my gosh anyway that's just me. That's how I go. That's how I roll. So I'm going to show you how I made these cute little treats. Uh, so here's another version. Uh, where's my other version? Version. Here's a cute version. Okay. So how this started, you guys, after I did my German lesson, was um, I'm, I'm famous. I'm sure you all are too for buying stuff and not using it. Right? Anybody else? Anybody else guilty of that? Um, so... I just realized that this bow is on upside down. So let's just move him over here. So I kind of love this ribbon, but not for cards. Like it's great for tying packages and it's great for tying um, uh, like treat boxes and so on. But on a card, not so much because it's so big. It's so thick and, you know, you're not going to tie this big honking bow on a card. I mean, it's nice if you just had it like this on a card, but I thought I've got a whole roll of this stuff, you guys. Like my ribbon is gonna is coming out my ears. I know, right? Everybody raise their hands. I know, right? <laughs> Melanie, you lie, but I recognize the sarcasm in your emojis. <laughs> so, you know, I've got a whole roll of this ribbon. And I thought, well, what can I do with that? And then I look over here. Okay, so y'all know I don't love this paper. I mean, it's okay, but I don't, what am I going to do with it now? Valentine's Day is over, and yes, I can use the hearts for other things. I'm not a heart girl. Um, I, I could be, but I don't love it, right? Now, there's a couple sheets that I could use that are nice. Uh, for example, the, this is one of the sheets. So I decided I'm going to use some of this paper, and I'm going to make up some of these treats. And then as I was grabbing for this paper... At some point, I might get to showing you some actual stamping. But I saw, oh, look, the vellum that I have bought that I have not used. Oh, look, the glamour paper that I've bought that I have not used. I'm like, oh, my Lord, you guys, I've got so much stuff here. Let's try to use some up. And and I might have had, I might have bought three or four of these sweet little boxes that I hadn't used yet. And Valentine's Day has come and gone. So, hi, Valerie. Hello. <laughs> I know, right, Shayla? Uh, so, um, yeah, I figured let's put one of these together and see what they're all about and see if I can use them for Easter. Now, Easter's not till I think it's April 7th. I had a little looky-see. April 7th. I'm like, well, I don't want to be putting any chocolate in there now. So then I went over to over there. I thought I had after eights over there. I don't know. Maybe my family ate them. I don't know where they are. Maybe I ate them. Who knows? Somewhere there may or may not be after eights in here. I don't know where they would be. Maybe there's some over there. I don't know. Anyway, I came across my stash of, oh, right, <laughs> tea. So there's a box of 144. They were on sale at Costco. You guys, I can't resist a sale, right? I'm like 144, 144 sachets of tea. Hope y'all like uh, Earl Grey tea because guess what y'all are getting for treats from now until <laughs> whenever. But I, there are so many projects, stamping projects, that I use these package teas for. So, but all right, <laughs> let's try to use up some of our stash, Tamitha. Oh, it smells so good. Now I want a cup of tea. Anyway, that's how it all came about. So I thought, let's grab a bag, let's grab the vellum, let's grab the ribbon, and let's make some of this stuff work. So here are the little treat boxes, which are so simple, I like can't even. Seriously, they do not get any easier than this. So I fit uh, two tea sachets in here. And what a cute little treat for whomever, right? So... You grab your little pokey tool. It's got it already has the tape on it. Come on. There is no excuse not to hand out little treats to everybody you see in the street with Costco tea. So you just fold in the little tabs. These ones are the sticky ones. Okay, I had a little I had a I had a knack going on here. So yeah. Go like this. Line up the edges. Bam. One. 
bam, two. Done. You're done. Look at that. You are done. Here, let me grab some tea. Two sachets of tea. I put them top to tail. Bob them in. And there are so many stamp sets. I mean, this one. Okay. Okay, wait. Where is this one? Brew some fun. Oh, wait. Tracy. Check this out, you guys. Okay. Tracy and I. Okay. Watch. Watch. Wait. Wait for it. Look what I learned to do, but like five minutes ago. Wait for it. No, that's the wrong button. Hang on. Uh. Okay. Oh. <laughs> I figured out how to zoom on my camera. All oh, right, these are the things that amuse me in my day. <laughs> I do, Valerie. Is that a hint? Drink red rose. You know, I was spoiled for tea by living in England. I can't, the tea just, I don't know why it's different here, but it's different here. It doesn't taste nearly as good as in England. But anyway, this is a cute stamp set that you could do a little tag that says senti. Oh, no, not the latte love. Um, let's brew up some fun. Come on. Come on. You're my cup of tea. Seriously, you guys. This is overlooked. It's in the main catalog. Get it. I know most of my team have it because it was a Christmas. Uh, we used it for our Christmas party. <laughs> Cheryl. <laughs> Your live notification didn't pop up right away for me. I figured you were still playing with your camera. Oh, well, that's weird, Tracy. Huh. No, I came in early every two. Donna? Hi, what? Oh, you just got to look. It's in the catalog. It's sneaky, but it's in there. And it coordinates with dyes that we had last year. Something very, very similar called... I might have moved it because... Um, it was retired, but I had it here for a while. Anyway, they're coordinating dyes with it. It might be over there, though. Something about coffee and tea, and there are coordinating dyes. Tracy, do you know what it's called? Something about coffee and tea. I'm just looking. I'm looking. But I think it's way over there now. Something about, um, I don't know. Anyway, there's this one. There is our coffee and tea... There's a coffee. Oh, here we go. Nothing better than. That's got some coffee stuff in here. So, oh, maybe not tea. There are so many tea sets that I've been keeping. Thanks, Tracy. Um, you could Google, like, brew brew some fun and see what it coordinates with. The, or the dyes. You know what? You could look at the back of the catalog for the dyes and go that way. Because the dyes are still current. Let me just grab my catalog here. The dies carried over, but the stamp set didn't, which is kind of crazy, but let's look in here. Do, do, do. I will stamp at some point. I'm sure they're still in here. These ones, the warm wraps, and they coordinated with something, some die that we got last year. Warm wraps. Yeah, those are the dies. I don't know what the stamp set is, though, from last year, but anyway. So, how cute. How cute. You just put some tea in there. So, what I'm going to do... Okay, so I made this. I used um, a strip of paper that was seven by two and three quarters. So what is this? This is two, oh, the two and three quarters. I guess I should bring back in my cutting blade. Two and three quarters. Two and three quarters by seven. So this could be, um, I could use this paper for Easter treats, right? It's kind of Easter-ish. Mm -hmm. Okay, Donna, did we get you back in, Donna? Could you not hear me? What was the problem there? Uh, okay. Hi, Linda. Curling in cards, Denise. Yes, looking. Okay, Tracy. I don't know. I think we lost Donna. Donna said hello, so I don't know if she can't hear me or if there's a problem. Hi, Barb. Stamp set was warm hugs. Oh, okay. Oh, is that? The, oh, thank you, Tracy. Thank you. All right. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to put a little bit of tear and tape on the tip of this one um, piece. Now, I mean, you can decorate this any way you want, right? Like the box opens this way. So you could decorate it like this and use any of our... Uh, oh, how cute would this be? One of these tag toppers. But this, then it could only be... 
Yeah, it could be two inches wide. If you had a two inch wide strip, you could do a tag topper and fold it down here. Like, okay, imagine it. The tag topper, and it's wrapped this way. But I'm going to do this. All right, focus. Here we go. Uh, this way. And then I'm just going to wrap it around the box. I'm not going to score it or anything. I'm just going to... I'm just going to manhandle it and let it score itself because we're busy women. There, done. <laughs> then you grab yourself some ribbon. So for this one, I've got, oh, look, a whole roll of this stuff, the Highland Heather, something or other. Highland Heather, don't know. And I cut 20 inches because why not? I've got scads of it. It's not like I'm going to run out. She says as she runs out. No, that was just a strip. Okay. Tie it around here in a one a big a big butt bow. I was gonna say something else, but I really should not swear on my lives, honestly. Okay, so tie it in a great big bow. Cause we like big bows, lots of ribbon. It just seems really um, expensive if you've got a lot of excess ribbon and could have even used more. Okay, so now we've got this really big chunky bow on here. And then you just have to add a tag. So I'm going to add a tag to this one. Now, again, trying to use up stuff I've got. So I grabbed my whatever this is called dual label layering oval punch or something like that <laughs> something technical like that I don't use this very often because I think the stamp set didn't carry over that had all the little images that fit inside because this one's really quite tiny this was just a piece of scrap I had laying on my desk um yes never score it I know oh but I gotta show you okay wait I did have to score these ones okay here's the other thing you guys check this out Oh my gosh. So I have this stuff left over from last year. It carried over and I was like, seriously, why did it have to carry over? I finished, a, I finished a pack of it and then I felt I had to buy another pack of it. So I'd use this for my Easter treats last year with our whatever boxes we had at that point. So I had a sheet of it left. So I did wrap up these. Now this is, is firm acetate. These ones you do have to score or you're never going to get that bad boy. Um, around there so I actually had it took me four four or five times to do it to score it properly so I scored it at two and a half less two two ticks is what that is not two inches less two ticks then I scored it at three then I scored it at five and a half plus one tick and then six and a quarter less a tick <laughs> so that's how I got these just so but you I did have to score the acetate because it is so firm so I used up that oh I was trying to use up this ribbon because I have a roll and a half of it um, and then look, look, so there's my tag that I made and I found the perfect little thank you in a current stamp set. So again, I'm trying to, trying to act like a, like a, a sensible demonstrator. It's like, okay, yes, it's fine to use up your stash, but maybe you should show people things that they can use that are current. So I had been eyeballing this. We may or may not make a card with this tonight because I seem to be off on a little tangent tonight, but the grassy grove has this little thank you that fits so perfectly in the tag. So I was pretty stinking excited about that. So I grabbed my basic gray, sure did. Okay, so we're going back to this one. This was the vellum, the vellum that I haven't used. How cute is this? It's, um, it's a great, the vellum is great to use just for a generic thank you. It doesn't have to be for Easter, but like, it's just a cute little package. Okay, technically it should go like this, but they don't know that until they open it. So here's my little thank you stamp that right in the middle of this guy okay oh look at that Denise used the same punch today do, do, do. okay okay well no I just was confused on it because you said hello and I like with a question mark so I was like what is our problem I don't understand okay so on the back of my little thank you I'm gonna put two mini dimensionals 
I was watching the Olympics at three o'clock, three, three thirty this morning. It was uh, they had skating on, figure skating. Yeah, I like the Olympics being on when I'm awake at three a.m. Usually, there's nothing really good to watch. All right, so now I'm grabbing my old retired crocodile, and I'm just gonna punch a little hole in there. I am going to grab my baker's twine. And again, you want to you wanna use a nice big piece. I started off with six. Six was not very big. I tried eight, not so good. Ten, nice. So I got ten inches of this. Feed it through the hole. Like, I'm not one to do, I'm not, I don't do packaging well. Like, it hurts my brain to think, oh, okay, and then what do I do with it? And to spend like half an hour making a little tiny box that has, you know, one chocolate in it, it hurts my head. So it's not my forte, but... Apparently, this is what I needed to do today. A little thing. Look how cute is that? Oh, I put it in the field of vision. Right? Let me just zoom in on that, shall I? One moment, please. Camera effects. Zoom. <laughs> My new favorite toy. Okay. It's not perfect. It's not, it's not perfectly. Not blurry. But anyway. There we go. I love that. They are so cute. And you get to use up some of this delicious ribbon. And who wouldn't like to get that? Give that to your, pop that in your, your mailbox or give it to your favorite cashier at the grocery store. So cute. I love it. So use up some stuff that you got, gals. Just have a little play. You know, if you're not, not in a crafting card kind of mood, make little boxes for people. How fun is that? Um... Okay, 721. Now, what else? Was that all I was going to do on that? I don't know. I guess so. Uh, I was scoring for that. So, I... A lot of you who are on here are on my team. And so, originally I was thinking of using the masks. The butterfly and flowers masks. But that's not exciting for you because you saw it all. Thanks, Edna. Shelly, I know. Look at these perfect bows. This ribbon makes me look like a bow tie and superstar. They're pretty. This one's a little mangy. I don't know. I don't know. Um, okay, I could play with the masks, but I also kind of want to play with this. Let's make a card. It's 722. Grassy Grove. This is one I only just recently got because I thought, no, I, I don't. No, no, no. I won't use it. No. However, I've already used, where did my, where did my cleaning thingy go? Is it sitting on something that's going to make things wet? My, where are you? Did I throw you away? Yes, I don't know. I thought, okay, I'll get a new one, uh, a new wipe. Um, so yes, I've already used the, the, the thank you. So it's been christened. So it's on. Now, I've seen a few. You don't have that ribbon? Shelly, what's wrong with you? You're going to have to hand in your demonstratorship. Come on. It's a good one. It's nice. Grassy Grove. So, I don't know. I wasn't convinced. Let's look at the catalog for a minute. Let's get an idea. This is what happens, though. I buy half the catalog, like day one. And then over time, I have all this free spending, and I refuse to be responsible and get, like, you know, paper and envelopes. Heck no. You get the stamp sets that you don't love. And then if you don't use them, you don't feel bad because they're free, right? So I wasn't convinced about this one. I'm still, I still haven't taken this. I like this flower, but I think the bird, the crane is weird. I don't know what I would do with that. I don't know. And I don't know. I like this though. And I'm not a flower girl, so I'm confused. I don't have the paradise palms either. Nor do I have this wildflower path. There's, what else do, let's see what I do not have, okay? Let's see what I don't own, because that's a fun little game. I own all of this. I own all of that. I don't have this, and I don't have that, so I don't have this whole spread. Although I've seen the cutest cards with this. But, oh, well, I have all of this, all of that. I don't have this, but I have the punch. I don't have this. I don't have the stamp setter dies, but I have everything else. don't have this or this. I have this, I have this. I don't have this. It appeals to me, but mm, 
I don't have this. I do have that. I have this and all of this. I have both of these. I have both of these. I have all of this. This one I only just recently got mm -hmm. because it works so well with a lot of things that I have. Page 140, what's happening? Don't know. I don't even know what ribbon that is. Shelly, sit down. Sit down. <laughs> I have this. I have this. Got all that. Got, not this, got these. Got this. So just got this. Don't have the stamp set, have the dies. Don't have this, do have that. Do have this, do have this. Yes, no. Yes. Yes, yes. None of this. No, no. Yes, yes. Yes, no. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. No, I don't have the set. I have the punch, but not the set. Yes. Yes, no. Oh, Tracy's card makes me want it. And no. So I do have a large majority of this whole bundle. Now, this card appeals to me. Uh, so let's see, page 47. So that's how I roll. Like when I have free spending, I like to treat myself to something I don't know if I'm going to love it. And then in the end, I tend to. So this card appealed to me. Like these are kind of fun. So I wanted to try a variation of this. I've seen a few of them online where it's the silhouette, not with the trees, but with the little critters. And in the background is our uh, delicious... Um, New Horizon paper. So let's sync up this bad boy. Oh, Shelly, you're gonna make me cry. You, no, it's the uh, this is this ribbon. This one you're talking about. It's in the main catalog. It's the gray. I don't think it retires. Smoky slate. The smoky slate textured ribbon. I'm sure it's still in the main catalog. Pretty sure. I know, Janet, the cactus, right? You were on the fence on the cactus. Okay. All right. There. Denise, you good? Okay, now I have to make sure that it's in this catalog. It's in the main one. Do do. Yes, it is in this one. I know. I've seen it. Right there. Smoky slate. Textured ribbon. 155813. $11.50. Tie such pretty bows. Okay, let's ink this up and let's get up the dies. And let's do something here. Let's find the dies, first of all. Here we go. Why not? 727, we've got half an hour to play. Now, you will recall that these trees I have used. Okay, yes, this is a good stamp set because I've used this tree on several of my cards that I love that I don't know where I put now because here we go. This one. It's perfect. These trees, this stamp set. Okay. So I've used that stamp and I've used the thank you. Okay. So, and I used it on another card where I cut out the, uh, cut out those trees. Okay. So Oh, and these dies cut out these trees. And this cuts out this. And the little critters. Oh, look. How, okay, let's bring in our cut and emboss machine. We're just going to make a big old mess. And I may or may not end up with a finished card, but let's just have a little play and see what these pieces do. Um, yeah. Now, what color? Where's my catalog? Let's bring that back. So they've done it in black. Seems a little harsh, but... Um, Am I feeling black or maybe I'm feeling dark gray? Okay, maybe we start with our paper and we'll take our cue from there. Maybe I do evergreen because you know it's my favorite paper color. So we're, here we go. So I'm going to get out my, just ordered another roll list, another uh, pack of this paper. Um, FYI, the, the dies for the New Horizon um, bundle is on low inventory. So yeah, I'm thinking evening evergreen, right? All right. So here's what I'm thinking. You know, if we had these trees, oh, you know, in the foreground, 
I think in one of the backs of these. Oh. Let's see which one we like. So it just kind of looks like a twi uh, yeah, twilighty. Like evening evergreen. Shocking, I know. Oh, that would be nice too. Am I even, I'm not even in the field of vision here, am I? So there's, you know, the evening evergreen, I'm thinking, because it's my favorite. But I also like purples. That might be nice too. So let me know, what do you think? The evening evergreen or the purples? We could also do... Oh. Yeah, I like the dark. Oh, it could be a daylight scene in the shadows, and the deer could be in the shadow. Oh, that's pretty. Now, it's going to be one of these two. Now, which pattern is on the... Oh, I see. I like both of these. I'm thinking this one because I don't want to wreck this sheet. <laughs> is that bad? I think so. Oh, both of you... Yeah, you're all saying the evening evergreen. Okay. Didn't you just say the answer? I know it is always evening evergreen, but I'm trying to push myself up. Maybe I'd do one of each. Oh, <gasps> shut up. Okay. Tracy, you always call me out on my BS, I tell you. <laughs> All right. So if we put that in behind. So in that case, I need an evening evergreen. And then this one, I'm thinking Blackberry Bliss. That's what I'm feeling. Blackberry Bliss. Evening evergreen. All right, let's see what we got going on here. Sure. I don't need a full sheet of this. How about we use up some scrap, Tamara? I'm famous for doing that. Like, oh, as things fall to the ground. I'm famous for starting a new sheet when I've got this many scraps. So, look at those two colors together. Stunning. All right, I'm a little more peppy today. I had a fizz stick, so I was a little bit more energetic today. All right, let's run these through. Okay, uh, Living on the Coast, this is the best paper ever, no doubt. No doubt, it's gorgeous. Okay, so I'm going to run it through my machine this way and at an angle, right? We, we don't want to... Um, we don't want to put stress on our rollers or on our plates. It's going to help keep our cutting pads as flat as possible for as long as possible. So you always want to put it through at an angle instead of straight on. And I'm just doing it back and forth. In case it's more intricate than I know it to be. So... Oh, oh, it's messy. Oh, it's messy. Oh, it's messy. Very, very messy. Okay, dump it over into the garbage can. No, I could get a little deer out of that. Okay, hang on. See, I'm a strange duck. I'll waste all kinds of paper, but then it's like, oh, you can't waste that little scrap. You could get a deer out of that. Where's my deers? I mean, really. I'm not sure why we'd want a green deer, but he's too big. Oh, see, that fits. Okay, and then we need more scrap. All right, well, we'll do a... Do, do, do. Okay, make a mess. It's the name of the game today. Tomorrow, I'm excited. I'm going to my mom and dad's tomorrow. I have to be there at 7.30 in the morning. Uh, mom's going to go out for breakfast with her friends, so my dad will probably still be asleep. And I'm going to get a whole bunch of work done. I am going to, uh, yeah, I'm going to get a bunch of work done. I'm going to get in touch with customers that I sent catalogs out to to say, hey, did you want to order anything before celebrations ends? I'm going to get a hold of all team members to say, hey, do you want to come back to the Stampin' Up! family while it's a good deal? I'm going to get in touch with my paper pumpkin people, my PPPs, <laughs> and say, hey, did you want to get in on that um, savings for the, um, the $300 uh, prepaids? Save yourself money. So, yeah, a lot of things like that I can do while my dad sleeps. And, oh, how cute is that little deer? And now I'm going to do this little deer here. 
Let's see if we can actually make a card before bedtime here. <laughs> I like options. And so this is the way I create. It's like, well, I don't know what color I want. So I'll do it in a couple different colors and I'll get these deer. Is that, yeah, it is a deer. I was like, is that a deer or is that a coyote? What is this thing? It is a deer. Hello, baby deer. Hello, baby deer. And then where's the mama deer? Mama deer. Uh-oh. Well, that's mama deer. Where did she go? There she is. Now, I need another chunk of this. And I think I saw some fluttered. Oh, this chair is so slippery. I swear, one day I'm just going to... There we go. And I'm going to need a little strip, which you know I have. We have a big strip of that. So let's do a mama. This should be a quick and easy card. Okay. It's just layers. Some options going on here. Mm -hmm. Okay, there we go. That's enough of that for now. Mm, let's move this over here. I gotta move my tea. 144 packages of tea. All right, back to, let's see what this picture says over here. I need, I need some visual. Okay, so I didn't plan this very well, but not too terribly either. Um, how big is this little die? The die is five. So, what does that tell me? I don't know what that tells me. Do you want this to be this is just a hair. Sure. Five by three and three quarters, really. If that's how that's gonna bet, you know. Let's do it by four and just see. I'm gonna I'm not gonna trim it all the way down and then we'll see where we're at. Let's grab it. That might have been. Hmm. No, because it's not going to be even. It's going to irritate me. However, we shall see. This could be a super quick and easy card. I don't know. Yeah, no, that's going to irritate me. It's going to have to be, because I did this, I cut it down to five. It's going to have to be by three and three quarters. If you cut as many card layers as I do, you know that the dimension is five by three and three quarters. Without even thinking. I know it better than I know my address. So if you're, uh, I've lost my little foamy, where's my little foamy? I lost stuff. Foamy. Uh, I got too much stuff. Hang on, I'm gonna make this squeak in a second. Nope, don't know where it went. I've got a foam mat anywhere, anywhere that uh, you're supposed to use with this thing. So we'll use this for now. Just, I just want to rub out the, the bits. Flick your paper, make a mess. Anything that's left, just grab your pokey tool. Ah, that piece wasn't actually die cut all the way through. Now you could put... Oh yeah, it's not cut all the way through on that one. You could put your stampin' adhesive-y stuff, being the technical term, on the back of that before you run it through, but... Oh, Coda's got a toy. Hey, buddy. You got Gordon. See, that's why I get confused, is I must say Gordon's name about 15 times a day, and then I forget that my Gerald is named Gerald. And then it comes out Jordan. <laughs> okay, look what's going on here. Oh, look at that right there. Maybe I need to have green deer. Oh, it looks too Christmassy. <laughs> oh my God. It's just, it's beautiful. Where's the other deer? Maybe, oh, look, they're look. Oh, he's looking at his baby. <laughs> she's looking at her baby. Okay, maybe she's over here. Maybe she needs to be in the trees over here. Come on, Bambi. You can do it. Maybe And just keep it subtle. Like, 
Oh, that's so cute. Okay, you guys. Okay, now let's just add a little pizzazz behind it. Oh, yeah, baby. Okay, I'm going to cut this too. It pains me to cut this stuff. But you know what? For $15.75, I can buy more. So it's going to be... Uh... Hey, bud. How are you? I'm just busy right now. Okay, so what am I doing here? I want it to be this way. Hi, can I help you? Say hi to the people. Where are you going? What are you doing? So it's going to be five and a quarter by four. Coda, go find dad. Go find the girls. But maybe I want, okay, so I do I want it on the top or the bottom? All that, right? I'm thinking, okay. Yeah, I want it this way. Four. Okay, bud, I can't play. Hi. What can I do for you? Go find the girls. Where's the girls? All right, go get a toy. Go get your toy. Go get your toy. Okay, so like this. Oh, that's so pretty. It might be weird having this little orange. I'm doing it anyway. I don't care. I can always make it again. I've got lots of paper. Right, Lynn? I know. Oh, wait, wait. I cannot cover up this paper. Oh, it's like they're on the banks of the river. Hang on. Hey, my little deer is stuck here. My mama deer. Oh, it's like a lake seed. Oh, I love that. And I think, I don't think I want this border. What do you guys think? I think that breaks the illusion, hey? So I want it to be five by four as well. So I'm going to trim this down. Oh, I, I need it to be this side, right? Do you agree? Should it be meadowish and sky? Or should it be riverbanky? Which one? Which one? Top, top, bottom. I don't know what you're saying now. Top and bottom. What did I? <laughs> um, that was a long time ago. Okay, so I like this. I'm going to make it go down to four three and three quarters by five for this layer. The lakeside, yeah, it looks good, right, Shayla? Three and three quarters by five. Oh, I love it. Now, if I was really good, I would pop this up on dimensionals to give it that de that added depth. So I should probably do that, right? The riverbank, hey? It's amazing. Are you guys all going to buy the grassy grove now? <laughs> okay, so I'm going to put this here. And there's enough room that I think I can get many dimensionals around here. Okay, I kind of love Check It Out Tuesday when I make a card that I'm going to freaking love and isn't too complicated, and I do in like 20 minutes. This makes me happy. Last night, I was I was really, I don't know, I felt off last night. I didn't feel good about my life. I don't know. I mean, they can't all be... I wasn't awful, don't get me wrong. I, just, I didn't feel like myself last night. It was It was weird. Okay, so we're going to put all these little dimensionals where we can. And the beauty of these little mini ones is, look, you can put them everywhere. Uh, that's small. And this is going to give that extra depth. Oh, this is going to be amazing. God, I love stamping up products. Like, they do all the hard work for me. That'll do, right? Do not need that die. Do not need that die. Do not need that die. I'm sorry, darling. I know. I know, right? I didn't need it either. But you know what? Having said that, the only reason that I was contemplating the set was purely for this one die. And then I thought, well, that's ridiculous. You're going to spend $53. $53. That's nothing to sneeze at, you guys. For, for that one die. Yes. Yes, you are. <laughs> That's where it's great. Um, get it on my uh, on my list that when I have half price items going spare, I'll uh, go through the list and or do draws to see, like, to, and I'll get in touch with you saying, hey, I have a half price item. Do you want it? But I mean, quick and easy cards. Come on. This might be my, like it could be a father's day. Oh, okay. Now the little deer. Or the mama deer. 
she can't I put the dimensionals there so she can't go quite as low as I would like these guys are going right over here now I could you could do a sentiment here what do we got see the good oh see the good I've had people we oh I know look you guys look are you looking you're looking because you're wowing so yeah you know Sorry, Wendy, <laughs> but hey, the good news is you get 20% off if you order it. <laughs> All right, so the mama, I'm just tucking her in here a little bit. So she's going to be kind of behind, kind of in front. That might be weird, but it will. And then the baby, I think I'm just going to tape him down flat. And, you know, baby. Oh, I should probably, um, if I don't rip his legs off here. Oh. All right. And, you know, maybe I would do the, the, the deer in a different color. I don't know. I'm not overthinking it tonight. There. He's going to go like this. And she's like, come on, Junior. Keep up. Come on, little one. Yes, you could put it in a shadow box. Absolutely, Mary. Yes, yes, yes. Now, part of me wants to emboss. I kind of want a label what you could do too, you know, you could punch out the, um, more grassy bits. I'm not going to this, this card is enough. I'm going to step away in a minute. I just have to figure out what and what sentiment and where, um, I think I would like a label. As opposed to just stamping on the lake. Now, this is where I'm going to fall apart, right? It's 7.46, but this is where I'll fall apart, and I'll spend the next 29 minutes trying to find just the right label. So we'll see if I happen to have something in my little tickle trunk. Nothing on the outside. Nothing on the outside, just the inside. Like, just leave it like this. And does it, doesn't it? does it need a little ribbon or something? Jewels? Sentiment inside? Okay, I could do that. But can I just leave it like that? No. Can I? Can I? No. Nothing? Well, I'm going to see. You guys know me better than that. Come on. This is not your first rodeo. You know. I can't do a tag, huh? No, that would be weird. <laughs> oh. Okay, what did they do? Look what they did. Like they, they have stuff. Really? Just leave it. Stop it. What? No, you guys. Can I put a bow? Anything? No. Jewels? No, you guys. I have no words. Really? I know, I'm thinking a little twine somewhere. Uh, vertical, hello. So it looks like it's coming from one end of the lake to the shore. A vertical, hello. Oh. Oh, you guys, it's killing me. Okay, I know. Really? Keep it like Tracy. Some rhinestones? Any some glitter? Nothing? <laughs> a bow? Can I put a bow on her? I need <laughs> you guys, you're killing me. I know it's gorgeous. I do not deny that. But I <laughs> you guys, can you feel my stress levels? Come on. Look, here's a cute little, a cute little, just a cute, a cute little, oh, uh, okay, I'm done. All right, let's do a green one. You guys are killing me. You know that when I turn off this camera, I have to add something, don't I? I don't know. It's hard. It's so hard. 
When did I turn into an avid stamper and need 5,000 layers? I know. Okay, what should I do on the green one, uh, Shayla? What should I do? What should I do? Help me out here. They're picking on me. Okay, five. Or emboss hello on the section between the trees. Okay, see now, Valerie, you could be my new favorite. Just something, just... I don't know. It stresses me out. Versa mark, white embossing. Well, yeah, but what and where? I know. I'm thinking. Oh, it's so hard. Okay, so then this one I'm going to do, let's see. It looks like mist um, coming out of the, I don't know. It looks like beautiful is what it looks like. So I'm going to do it this way. Three and three quarters. I fit the top left. Okay. Check the back. Check the back. Oh, too late. Yeah, I know. It was a beautiful one. I know. I know. It's okay. I have more. I think there's, is there four sheets of each pattern? I forget now, but yeah, I'll do this. It's okay. I can buy more as long as it's still in stock. Okay. All right. Bit of wink on the water. Oh, that's using your head for more than a hat rack. Hold. Okay. What else have I got in here? What does this do? Oh, this is for these. Okay. So this cuts the top of that out. Okay. But I'm kind of addicted to this new layout. So, mm. like seriously, if you're not me, look how quick and easy this card is. <laughs> if you're not me, if you're me, this quick and easy card will take me four hours. Oh. Okay, wait a minute. Oh, you guys. Oh, I like this. This looks like a, like a, to me from a distance, it looks like a waterfall, um, you know, in a hidden valley on some movies, you know, like where there's going to be pixies and magical creatures flying around. I like that. Yes. I'm going to do this one and imagine little pixies. <laughs> I'd like to be a pixie. I used to have a pixie cut. Does that count? And people thought I was a boy and my little heart was crushed. I remember it clear as day. My mom gave me a pixie cut. And when we moved to Calgary, we went to go get registered for school and she registered my brother and then the secretary turned. Now, granted, it was like winter and I was wearing a snowsuit or something. And she uh, looked at my mom. She says, okay, would you like to register your other little boy? I was not impressed. I was only seven. Hurt my feelings. I'm not a boy. But really, a seven with a boy haircut. How would she know? Not like, yeah, anyway. Apparently, I'm not over it yet. <laughs> Alrighty then. The wounds, they run deep, my friends. So deep. Now, I guess if I was going to stamp anything on this, I should have done it before I just put down all these dimensionals, right? Yep. Oh, well, too late, Tamara. Like that. Figure out what words. I know. Well, I don't know what I'm going to do. Um, I like the relaxed ones, right? Like, so this, oh, this one doesn't have the relax. However, this, okay, there's a relax. Enjoy your day. But the one that I was thinking of with, where's my ladies? Where's my ladies? Where's my ladies? Do, 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 do. In the moment. In the moment. You always so good. You're always so good. Okay. Sometimes the most productive thing you can do is relax. Does that work? It's a lot though. With a bow at the left hand side over here. Oh, you're in my thoughts. Look, you guys. See, this is how my brain works. <gasps> this would be a great sympathy card. Okay. Pretend that this isn't in pink. What if I did this in in? Oh, look. Look. You're in my thoughts. What a great little sympathy card. See, it can work. Or you can put it up here. No, that doesn't work there. Just a little. You're in my thoughts, man. It's a sympathy. Huh? Huh? There you go, Denise. Bow on the left-hand side. So, you're in my thoughts. Comes from the in the moment. Hmm. 
Hmm. It does work, right? All of you know. Well, I mean, I get it. I get it. So now if I was going to do this, these guys going to have a deer or two? Maybe they go over here. And if I had a ear in my thoughts, could be over here. Not in pink, of course. I'm just, I'm checking out what's what. There, that could work. Okay, maybe. Because the little deer, you don't want them too far out because they'll get shot by the hunters. So they have to be just hiding. And this little guy, he can be, he's disguised incognito. What do you think? Nailed it. Yes. So up here, right guys? Yeah. I like it. And he's going to have a bow too. Okay. So I'm going to get my old retired punch. Oh, I know what I was going to show you guys. My new kit came. What time is it? Oh man, it cannot be 7.55. I wanted to show you my magnet board kit. Ah. Well, I'm just going to stay longer. All right, so here, I'm going to do two of these. Okay, I better get busy on this because 7.56, dang nabbit. I'm having too much fun now. But you won't go away. You need to. See, you need closure, right? You need to see what happens here. And you need to order the stamp set, ideally through me. But hey, since most of you are demonstrators, I understand. <laughs> I get it. Now y'all are going to get this set and you're going to case this card. Who knew we needed it, right? <sighs> Stamping up, darn you. Okay, I gotta put in the mama deer. I'm gonna go in here. She can't go too low because I've got dimensionals in there. Of course I do. Maybe she goes on top. No, she can't. She has to go underneath. There we go. Like that. Junior. You're going to get there too. Little Bambi. Oh, he's just so cute. Oh my gosh. Okay. Ermagerd. Ermagerd. Okay. You're in my thoughts. You're in my thoughts. You're in my thoughts. Okay, I need Evening Evergreen, and I'm also going to need some Blackberry Bliss. Is this the one I re-inked? It should be... Oh, no, that's not the one I re-inked. Dang it. Okay. Maybe I have to leave him, because I want to show you I have three minutes left. I want to show you my new kit, the magnet kit. Or the magnet board kit that I just got. Why did I do it this way? A normal person would have stamped it and then punched it out. There's not a lot normal about me. Let's try that again. Let's go like this. Then you don't have to worry about trying to line it up. Dingus. Okay. You're in my thoughts. That is going to probably smudge now that I just smashed it down. Our old, our old um, Whisper white paper never smudged. The ink dried immediately. It was one of our bragging points. But this new stuff, it's not quite as good. You're in my thoughts. I like it to overhang a little bit. I'll just see. I think I need a bow. I think. Just bear with me. I might not use it. Don't yell at me. It might need a bow. It might need an evening evergreen bow. I don't know. Let's see. It might need a bow. My bow is twisted. Oh, I'm not sure about that. No, I don't think so. I'm thinking it needs some little... Hang on. 
Don't yell at me. I really need a different system. Okay, Yoda's got to come down. These guys are iridescent. I think that's too much. No, I, I know what I'm looking for. I just don't know where they are. My epoxy shapes. Here they are. I just want some of these little clear see-through. Uh, are there any smaller? No. There are silver ones and there are clear ones. Just to kind of look like dew or something. I don't know. These ones are teardrop, or they look like raindrops or diamonds or something. But these ones are round. I don't know where he needs to go, but he's gonna. There's gonna. It's gonna happen, you guys. I gotta. I just gotta. Ideally, I'd like different sizes, though. This is a diamond. It is a diamond. It doesn't want to come off. I can't have a diamond in a circle. It's weird. We're doing it. Use a gem for the moon. Oh, I could do that. No, I don't want to. Sure, why not? So, I don't know. Just really subtle. Just a few little subtle things. Okay, done. And then I'm going to leave this one wherever he is. Where's the, where's the purpley guy gone? Where's he gone? Where are you? Where is him? Where are you? Where'd you go? Hello. Hello. I lost it. Let me see where it went. It's not on the floor. It's not on my shoe. Seriously? Oh, there he is <laughs> in this stamp set. Okay. All right. Yes, it is. Oh, look at you, big brain and you guys. Look at you guys. Okay, just one. Don't it? Well, I'll revisit it. I, I gotta go. It's like 801, but look, okay, here. How how easy is that? Yeah, I was. <laughs> Thanks, Shelly. Now, very quickly though, I just want to show you what just showed up because I have um, this class is on February 25th and it just showed up. And so I wanted to, my box was mangled, but that's okay. It's okay. Just bear with me for a couple minutes and I'll show you what this magnet board is. Uh, I'm running the class now. I can only do it with locals right now because um, I have them in my house and the class won't get to you in time. So there is a 12 by 12 magnet board. Okay. And yeah. And all the pieces. So there's not even any stamping in this. This is a great kit, you guys, to have in the camper, uh, in the cabin, uh, to give to the teens, um, to work on with the grandkids. It comes with all the pieces you need. So this is what you're going to put on the back of your magnet board, the 12 by 12 paper of your choice. And then these fold up into little boxes. So there's full instructions, full instructions on how to assemble it. But you really don't need it. Um, these, you get all of these stickers and little um, little cards to put in your pouches and to attach with. These are the uh, the little clips. Yes, grandkids, right, Wendy? Absolutely. I know. The magnetic plate and the cut. I know. Look. So then these are magnetic and they're gonna attach to the board. And all of the, look, it's a little calendar, you guys. Oh, come on. And then there's stickers in all the different languages. French, German, English. Uh, so you can, to-do lists. Like, what have we got on here? We've got to-do. Uh, this is the German page. <laughs> I'm like, okay, I can read this because I've been brushing up on my German. Gratitude. Here we go. Create this this week. Make time for important to buy notes to do. So these are stickers and you just stick them on top of your little calendars or your your lists. So this would be so fun for the kids to do on one Sunday afternoon. I love it. I have three extra kits on hand. If you're in Edmonton, it is $40. I make the whopping 76 cents profit on that. Um, like it's uh, it's a $34 kit. 
plus the shipping handling GST in Edmonton, it comes out to $39.17 or something. So I'm charging $40. We're going to get together on Zoom and do it. I know it's going to be great, Debbie. I just ordered another one yesterday to make for a Christmas gift for your, for the granddaughter. Fantastic. Yeah, I've got three extras on hand. So if you want in on it, message me if you're in Edmonton for porch pickup. Uh, I'd love to have a full class. And likewise, if you want it in on this class, I have two spots left. It's $40 as well. You get a full pack of the home and heart felt, whatever that paper, whatever this paper is. You get a whole package of the bees. You get... Um, all the products to make five of these these full calendars and then you get the like plus the five bees so you don't even have to dip into your own bees um i'm giving you five more so yeah it's forty dollars and that one's on march 11th so that's it it's 805 okay i actually packed quite a bit into that but it was relaxing i thought relaxing for me anyway <laughs> um now go and order yourself the uh, grassy grove bundle and uh case my cards easy fabulous love it Thanks for hanging out with me, you guys. Um, I will see some of you on Friday for the Tulip class, if you're registered for that. Um, other than that, I will catch you, I guess, on Monday for Mystery Card Monday. All right. Excellent. Thanks for hanging out with me, you guys. Have a great night.